The highest tides of the year, known as the King Tides, returned to the Bay Area this week, and now we're expecting another round tomorrow. This phenomenon also giving scientists a preview of sea levels in the future. Crowd Force Gail Long has uh, uh, details. She's live in San Francisco. Good evening, Gail. Good evening, Grant and Justine. Here in San Francisco, the tides reached over seven feet today. We saw some of the usual spots flooded in the North Bay, and scientists say these high tides are a reminder of what we can expect in the future. The Mill Valley Sausalito bike path flooded Friday morning as the King Tides returned to the Bay Area. But it didn't stop people from biking and walking through several inches of water. Caltrans redirected traffic around flooding at the intersection of Highway 1 and the southbound Highway 101 off-ramp. But this scene, quite normal for locals. So the winter solstice is the, is the highest event that it happens. And it's all gravity. The astronomical high tides happen in the winter when the sun, moon, and earth align, producing the highest tidal effects of the year. John Haskins is a Mill Valley native. He researches water quality down in Elkhorn Slough in the Monterey Bay. So these are kind of good times to be able to, to find out, okay, where does it get flooding? What are the, what are the effects that are happening? Um, and how do, we, how do we mitigate it in the future? The King Tides also made a splash at Pier 14 along the Embarcadero in San Francisco, but spectators not impressed. I thought they were big waves, but they're not big waves. Last time I came out here, I got sprayed with water. This is what the Embarcadero looked like two years ago. The rain pushed the water so high, the area temporarily closed. Back in Mill Valley, UPS managing to get through the flooded waters, but this SUV left stranded in the parking lot. While bystanders enjoy the natural phenomenon, scientists say these waters are a glimpse into the future. Communities in different areas have to, have to come together and, and help figure out um, different, different ways of solving it. Creating dams, what is creating uh, um, levees. The California King Tides Project monitors sea level rise and are encouraging observers to submit pictures on their website to help document communities most vulnerable to flooding. And observers are urged to use caution when visiting the tides. The next surge over on the Embarcadero over at Pier 14 is tomorrow around 11:30 in the morning. Reporting live from San Francisco, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.